Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to this channel. My name is Wade. I'm the owner of Black Tie Barn Candle Company. Today we're gonna have a little bit of fun doing a fragrance review of some fragrances that I've never tested or sample or used before myself. New fall and novel fragrances from the Wooden Wick Company. Now they actually sell these fall and novel fragrances in a fragrance kit. And that is what we are going to be checking out today. Now, these were provided to me by the Woodwork Company to test out, sample, and review here on the channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a first impression type of look at these fragrances. I'm gonna open all 10 of them, give you some first impressions about what they smell like to me. And then I will pull up each of them on the Wooden Wick website to give you a little bit more information that they provide themselves. Now, I do want to let everyone know that when I do these fragrance reviews, these are my honest opinions on these fragrances. Yes, often these fragrances are supplied to me for review on the channel. And yes, sometimes I even have links to those products in the description. Some are affiliate links, some are not. But in all situations, you can be reassured that I will always be honest and transparent with my reviews. If you are interested in any other candle making content or running a small business, uh, we do both of that on this channel. In fact, we do videos and topics ranging from beginner to intermediate to advanced. If any of that interests you whatsoever, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button below. And if you do that, don't forget to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Lastly, if you wouldn't mind, at some point give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. That really does help this channel out, but the combination of all three of those things really lets YouTube know that you're interested in videos like this so you don't miss anything in the future. As always, I appreciate all of you for being here. Please leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions or comments about this video or any other recommendations that you have for future videos, and I will be sure to get back to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I, as I mentioned, we're gonna be taking a look at 10 different fragrances that come in the fall and novel fragrance kit supplied by the Wooden Wick Company. So first I'm gonna run through that list real quick just so you know what is coming, and then I will go ahead and dive into each one specifically. So the fragrances that we will be reviewing today are Birch Bark and Ripe Fig Sapling, Harvested Sumac and Campfire, Infused Yarrow Buds and Gayak Wood, Rare Rosewood and Amber Resin, Royal Nectar and Applewood Honey, Native Heliotrope and Cashmere Wood, Pumpkin and Persimmon, Bayberry and Fir Wreath, Gilded Rose and Spruce, and last but not least, Red Currant and Kumquat. And yes, if you are at all familiar with Wooden Wick fragrances, they are usually very complex names like that, and they do come up with a lot of great fragrance combination. So I'm excited to try these out. Again, this is the fall and novel fragrance kit, and I am, uh, I'm ready to dive right in. Hopefully you guys are too. Okay, we're gonna start off with the Birch Bark and Ripe Fig Sapling. And as I go through these, I'm gonna try to describe them the best that I can, but again, we will take a look at the, the website descriptions as well. And then at the very end, I'll try to let you know what some of my favorites and, and least favorites were of each one. Birch Bark and Ripe Fig, picking up a little bit of uh, Cypress, there's definitely some amber and musk in there as well. Galite, uh, woodsy fragrance. So like most birch fragrances, it really does have that true birch birch bark fragrance. Uh, I have a few birches and different pines and different woodsy fragrances in my current line of candles. And this definitely has a lot of those notes, but this does have something a little bit different too. It is pretty good. It's not near as, as woodsy as some of the other birch fragrances. I would say it's more of a, a balance between woodsy and earthy. So there is kind of a difference between that earthy fragrance versus that pine or birch fragrance. And I would say this strikes a pretty good balance. Now it is a fairly light one out of the bottle. Get out of the bottle, it's really, really hard to detect much of anything. Sometimes they're overpowering in the bottle and then when you burn them in a candle, they're not very strong. And then other times, the out of the bottle fragrance is fairly light, but they're very strong in a wax. So again, this is first impressions. This is more about the, the actual fragrance notes and the combinations and, and what it really smells like out of the bottle to really see if there's any interest. Um, in future videos, I will definitely be testing these in uh, some wax products and different combinations to see how they burn as well. Now looking at the Wooden Wick website here, they describe this fragrance as a serene, heartening walk in nature where prominent green fig stands tall amongst earthy and exotic woodsy notes. So that is a pretty good description of, of what I was just trying to portray to you, which was that it is a balance between earthy greens and woodsy. So it is a pretty good balance. It's, it's not overpowering in either one of those. Uh, it's not near as woodsy as a lot of those pine and birch fragrances are. I really think you do get all of those notes in this fragrance. Uh, it's a pretty good, well, complex and balanced fragrance. The next fragrance we're taking a look at today is Harvested Sumac and Campfire. This smells exactly like you're pitching a tent, like you just pulled into your campsite, you're gathering some wood and you're about to, you're about to create a campfire. A lot of the campfire fragrances that I've used in the past are very 
smoky, trying to make you feel like you're smelling a campfire, like the fire's burning. Whereas this is a lot of like working with the wood, like building the campfire, everything around the camp, the, the uh, campsite. But this is really good. It almost smells like as you're out walking in the woods trying to gather campfire wood. Let's see what Woodwick has to say about this. So it has top notes of tobacco leaf, uh, middle of roasted chestnut and wild sumac, and then base notes of smoky vanilla, birch, and guyac wood. I actually did notice that vanilla, I think, a little bit. Uh, and it's some of that chestnut. Man, this is a really, really intriguing fragrance. I'm gonna put this on on, on the, my right side here of fragrances that are probably gonna be in my top kind of five of these 10. This might be one of my favorite campfire fragrances that I've smelled to date. I'm gonna be really interested in testing this one out in product and see how it burns. All right, next up is infused yarrow buds and guyac wood. Okay, so I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I have a feeling that this is gonna be one that is uh, polarizing that a lot of people, a lot of you would probably like a lot. I'm not sure that I do. I don't know if it's the guyac wood or the yarrow buds. I think it's the yarrow buds. Very strong, it's got a very strong floral fragrance to it. I'm not detecting as much of the earthiness in this one. I mean, it's it's floral, so it's obviously earthy, but I should say I'm not detecting as much of the woodsy, musky notes. This one's sort of like I've buried my face in a, row, in a, in a flower bed. You know, I'm not sure. This is gonna be one of those ones that when you're testing it and burning it, I bet all these note profiles kind of come together pretty well and make a really, really nice scent. So you can definitely tell it's high quality. Like it's it's a complex fragrance. I just don't know that it's in my neck of the woods for lack of, for lack of better terms. Definitely some chamomile or something in there and some other, there's several florals I feel like in this. I just, it's just not necessarily my favorite type of fragrance. Fragrances are very, very subjective. Uh, we all like different types of fragrances. This could be one that grows on me. For example, I used to not be a fan of lavender and over the years it's grown on me. According to Wooden Wick, they described this as a refreshing awakening of herbal yarrow buds, powdery floral accords mesh and harmony with subtle light notes of rosewood, amber and sage. So there's a lot going on with this fragrance, at least in the floral side of things. So there's, there's definitely a lot going on and you can tell that as soon as you take a, a whiff of that fragrance. It's very, very overpowering, but again, that's out of the bottle. And so I don't necessarily wanna judge the strength of these based off of out of the bottle. But as far as the actual fragrance notes go, I, you know, it's probably not one of my personal favorites. All right, next up on the list is Rare Rosewood and Amber Resin. This one might be a little difficult for me to describe. 100% know there's gonna be some vetiver in this. Um, I do like vetiver, a lot of people don't. It's kind of one of those hit or miss fragrances. I, I happen to be a fan of vetiver and I do smell the vetiver. I can smell some florals, I can smell almost some, um, some spices. There's even something a little citrusy about this. I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna learn a little bit more about this when I look it up on the website, but I have an absinthe fragrance that actually kind of smells a little bit like this. I don't necessarily know what rosewood smells like, so I don't know how to, how to, I guess, relay that to you. I guess maybe the best way to describe this is it's kind of a woodsy incense and men's cologne mixed. It's, yeah, I know that's, <laughs> that's still fairly vague. It's definitely got some of those masculine notes. Like I do feel like there is a uh, men's fragrance that is similar to this, but that could just be the vetiver. A little bit of an incense type fragrance. Now Wood Wick says the notes include citrus zest. So that is a little bit of that citrus notes I was picking up and it's right there on the top. Like I don't know how well it'll come through when it's burning, but you can smell just a little bit of it um, right out of the bottle. And then there's some tea rose, morning mist, cedar, uh, thyme, lavender petals, crushed patchouli, vetiver root, and amber resin. So the, the vetiver, absolutely I'm picking up probably more than the rest of the fragrances but the rest of them almost kind of blend together into some other kind of earthy harmony. But the vetiver is what stands out to me the most, but I have kind of a nose for vetiver. That could be why. Now, I do have to say that even though I'm a fan of vetiver, I'm putting this to my left side for now, uh, just because I'm not too sure where it would fit in for me in my candle line. So that one's kind of in the middle, somewhere on the fence for me. So let's move on to the next one. Now this next one is Royal Nectar and Applewood Honey. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this for a couple reasons. One, it doesn't sound like something that I have already. So the uniqueness is attractive to me, but I also enjoy peaches and nectars and that type of fragrance and applewood. So with all that being said, I, I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Let's go ahead and find out. Man, that is a perfect name and description for this fragrance. It is rich too. The first time I took a whiff of this, I was picking up the honey. Then I go back to it and I pick up the nectar. 
And then I go back and I pick them all up. This is one of the most interesting uh, peach slash nectar fragrances that I've smelled in a while. I like the touch of applewood and honey. I'm kind of always torn on honey fragrances, honey in general. A little bit is good, too much is too much. What I meant to say was a little bit is perfect, but anything more than that can almost be overpowering and too much for me. So I don't like too much honey. And so I will be curious how this burns and how this works in with waxes because out of the bottle it's almost too much honey almost but that's probably because it's either the top or middle note and that means you're going to pick it up a little easier right out of the bottle the cold throw but when it's burning it, it'll kind of blend in with the other notes pretty well so while out of the bottle there might be a touch too much honey for me personally Overall, I absolutely love this fragrance. It's a great combination of nectar, applewood, and honey. I mean, I, I really, really like this one. This is gonna go uh, in my favorites pile for now. If you haven't figured it out to this point, uh, I've got, I'm kind of creating two piles as we go. Uh, top five and bottom five. Uh, and we'll see, I might have to make some adjustments and some changes at the end, but that's what I'm doing as we go. Let's go ahead and see what Wooden Wick says about Royal Nectar and Applewood Honey. They call it a golden honey drizzle with applewood and tender peach finished off with warm vanilla. Uh, yeah, I think I did pick up a little bit of vanilla there. Top notes of clementine, peach, apple, and clove, and middle has bee pollen, golden honey, and plum. So those middle notes are really making this a rich fragrance, um, 100%, you can tell that. With base notes of vanilla, apple, wood, and almond. Almond is commonly paired with honey, so that's not too surprising. And I picked up a little bit of the vanilla and definitely the applewood. So overall, this is a great complex fragrance and it's very unique. I actually really like this one. I will be putting this over among my favorites for now. Next on the list is Native Heliotrope in Cashmere Wood. I have no idea what Heliotrope smells like, so we're about to find out. Uh, and Cashmere Wood, it's a creative name because I'm not a huge fan of Cashmere, but I love most of the things that are wood-based. So I have I have really no idea what I'm gonna think about this fragrance. So like most Cashmere fragrances, the thing that jumps out to me the most is a woman's perfume. But I actually like this one. Okay, all right. Full transparency, I've talked about in other review videos that I'm not a fan of Cashmere. But for some reason, every single time that I review a new cashmere fragrance, I like it. I think that means I like cashmere. I, I don't know. Because I do like this fragrance. It's not something that I would ever burn myself in a candle, just in, in my own place. But I do think a lot of people are gonna like this. I really think this could be a popular fragrance. Now the trouble for me, other than my obvious internal conflict about cashmere, is that most cashmere fragrances really smell similar. And so I don't know if you have a cashmere fragrance already, then this might not suit you. Uh, if you wanna try something, if you're not overly happy with your current cashmere, then I would recommend giving this one a shot. I have no idea what part of this is heliotrope because I have no idea what that smells like. I'm assuming it's what's aiding to part of my enjoyment about this fragrance. There's definitely more going on here than cashmere, but you could certainly pick up the cashmere fragrance. Woodenwick says that this is a symphony of cashmere, warm amber, and serene floral notes playfully linger atop the robust and grounding wood and musk. Well, it's a great description. It doesn't really tell me anything though. I have no idea what any of that means, but I will agree that it is a cashmere floral with a little bit of a woodsy undertone. So I think overall that, that description is accurate once you kind of dissect it a little bit. The top notes are heliotrope, orange flower, and patchouli. Orange flower, okay, so that might have been part of what I was always picking up there as well. Middle notes of cashmere wood, amber, and tonka bean, with base notes of amber, cedar wood, and sheer musk. So, as I talked about, most fragrances by the Woodenwick Company are pretty complex fragrances. They're unique combinations, and that's why some of these are really hard to describe because you, you really can pick up one note and then, then you start picking up something else. So it's, it's difficult to describe a lot of these. But I'm gonna put this on the side of, of my favorites so far because even though I'm not a personal fan of that type of fragrance, it's a really good one and I think it would be really popular. The next on the list is Pumpkin and Persimmon. Now this sounds like it would be a great holiday fall fragrance, so I'm expecting that this could be a winner. Now, as I've also talked about in previous videos, Pumpkin is sort of polarizing for me as well because it just depends on the type of pumpkin. There are certain pumpkin fragrances that I like, especially ones that have a little spice with them. 
And then there's other ones that I'm not a fan of, but they still sell really well. So this is definitely on the, I would call the pumpkin spice side of things. Uh, it almost smells like a pumpkin pie. And there is, there's some additional spice there. And then also some additional sweetness, which is probably the persimmon. I think uh, if, if I recall correctly, that is a fruit, although I'm not super familiar with it. I'm assuming that is adding some of this richness, some of the some of the sweetness to it. I have a couple fragrances that are pumpkin based. Uh, one is more like a pumpkin bake or a pumpkin souffle type fragrance. And then I have others that are more of a pumpkin pie. This is like a combination of both of those with some other spices involved. Maybe a little bit of ginger. I would say there's some, probably some vanilla added as well. I, this is a very interesting pumpkin fragrance. The more I smell this one, the more I love it. This is definitely gonna go on the, the side of my favorites, but that's enough of me talking about it. Let's see what Woodenwick says. They call it a classic pumpkin and fresh fruit with just the right amount of spice and sweetness. Top notes of blood orange and kumquat, uh, middle notes of pumpkin, persimmon, clove, allspice and ginger, and there's also some brown sugar and vanilla in there. So pretty much exactly what I was kind of picking up. I wouldn't say this one is as complex as some of the other fragrances. It's more of just a true, well-balanced fall fragrance. And I really like this one a lot. So that's going to my right. Next up, Bayberry and Fur Wreath. I'm probably gonna like this one because I am very partial to a lot of uh, woodsy fragrances and tree type fragrances. As I expected, I like it a lot. This smells to me like a mixture of a mistletoe or a, a pine fragrance with a fur. So if you've ever you know, been messing around a pine tree and picked up the pine cones, smell the pine cone itself that's very much what this fragrance smells like to me there's some other stuff going on in this this is a intriguing fragrance i feel like there's sort of tropical about it too it's it's interesting i might have to experiment with this one as well i have a lot of tree and woodsy type fragrances but i'm always looking to improve those especially for something that is a little bit more unique you know everyone can get a, a standard pine or anyone can get a standard fraser fir for example Having something that hits those notes primarily, but then adds a little something extra, gotta give it a shot, right? And this one, this one definitely has a little bit extra. Woodenwick says that this is a earthy bayberry and fir needle combined with freshly frosted forest. So they have top notes of fir needle, eucalyptus, and frosted citrus. So the eucalyptus and citrus is part of what's adding to what I was talking about, that it's adding something extra. And I, I sometimes those are really, really hard to describe because you can tell that something's there and you're like, what is that? What does that remind me of? It's, and then you see the description, you're like, yeah, okay. I, that, that's probably what it was. That, that makes a lot of sense, but it's very, very good. Middle notes include bayberry and white rose, bases of cedarwood, crushed pine cones, and musk. Okay, so the crushed pine cones, that uh, is exactly what I was describing. If you were to pick up a pine cone and just bury your nose in it, I was actually smelling pine cones in this versus just the pine needles. And I think that's pretty interesting and pretty unique. Um, cedar wood and musk, those are very common base notes with these type of fragrances. Uh, this is absolutely going on the right side for me of, among the favorite fragrances, uh, which means I've already got five favorites uh, and three in the not as much of my favorites category, but we might have to adjust and I will let you know which ones I have to move around uh, once we get to the end. We have two more left. The second to last one is Gilded Rose and Spruce. And so another one based in some spruce and some wooden no woodsy notes, which means I'm gonna like it, which means this is gonna be a difficult choice to, you know, I don't wanna say eliminate one. So when I say that I'm going to pick five favorites, uh, that doesn't mean that I don't like the other ones at all. It's just, I, I gotta put a line somewhere and tell you what my top half favorites are versus the bottom half. But we'll get into that in just a sec. <coughs> I got my nose a little close to that one. <coughs> This one smells like some type of uh, body wash. I don't know what it is though. This definitely smells like a body wash or a soap bar. Very clean fragrance. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I just brought it back to my nose and I picked up a little lemon. Lemon makes everything a little bit better for me. But I definitely picked up some lemon there. I did not get it the first time, but I do now. So body wash, bar of soap. It's a floral fragrance, but it has a, a little bit of a woodsy note and definitely some citrus at the top. It's interesting. It's growing on me more and more and more. I don't know that I'm yeah, let's let me let's see what Woodenwick says. They say walk through an enchanted forest, sophisticated composition of flower gardens and majestic trees. Well, that description, while it sounds lovely, doesn't really tell you much. So let's look at the note profile. Top notes of lemon rind and lemon flower. Yeah, so the entire top notes is based around lemon. I don't know how I didn't pick it up the first time, but it's definitely there. 
but it's not it's not like overly strong, like a like lemon drops or lemon pound cake or something. It's just light lemon, light lemon. Middle notes of white rose and blue spruce. Those are the two that I'm definitely smelling the most. That's the part that makes it smell like a bar of soap with a woodsy undertone. And then base notes of patchouli, Canadian fir needle, and sandalwood. So I definitely pick up the sandalwood. Patchouli is in a lot of these fragrances that are have floral notes or woodsy notes. So sometimes you'll pick it up, and other times you just almost take it for granted. Like it's you know it's there, but you don't really think about it. And then the Canadian fir needle, it's really hard to, to discern some of the pines uh, and some of the different tree fragrances from one another. This one's in the middle for me. I can't, I don't know what side to put this on. At least it's gonna be an honorable mention for sure. Because at first it smelled like a body wash, which it definitely does, but the more I smell it, I pick up the spruce a little bit more and I pick up the lim lemon a little bit more. Bath soap or a body wash that I'd use if I was staying in a cabin. There you go. It's a cabin retreat body wash. Play with those terms a little bit and that actually might be a good name to use. I mean, not that long, but it gives you some ideas. That one's growing on me for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, we have one last remaining and it is red currant and kumquat. And before I open this one, uh, here's my general feelings on the red currants that I've smelled in the past. I really never like any of them out of the bottle. And then for some reason, every time I test them in candles, I like them. And I don't know if it's because of the way that it blends with other notes or just because it's uh, it's just not as strong or potent. I don't know. I really don't know what it is. It's it's uh, it's it's kind of difficult to, to explain, but I'm usually never a fan until I start using it, if that makes sense. Kumquat. You know, fruits, I, I'm gonna like that. I like almost all those type of citrus fruits. So I expect to like that part of it, but I'm not sure I'm gonna like this overall. This one smells like a kitchen cleaner to me of some sorts, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, a lot of kitchen cleaners are citrus based. It's it's all right. It's a unique fragrance. I gotta say that I, I don't have any fragrances. I don't know that I've smelled a fragrance quite like this one, but I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's kind of weird because we all like that smell of, of a clean house, right? So if you've got a dirty kitchen, you've spent a whole afternoon in there on a Sunday or something, uh, really scouring your kitchen and getting it spotless and you sprayed all the counters down and wiped it, wiped it good and clean. We all like that smell afterwards, that nice, clean, citrusy smell, or at least I think most of us do. And that's what it smells like. That's definitely what it smells like, but I don't know that, I guess, I don't know that it's what I want for my candle necessarily. It's easier for me to achieve with just my regular cleaners and maybe that's the only reason I'm not overly drawn to this one. I do like this scent. I just don't know that it's something I would want to use in my own candle line, but that of course is preference and it's totally up to you. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and put this one to the left, which is my uh, bottom half, but still good fragrances. Okay, so that wraps up the, I guess, first impressions out of the bottle, waft test or whatever you want to call it of these uh, fall and novel fragrances from Woodwick. Now I do got to say overall they don't disappoint and I think they really fall in line with pretty much every fragrance collection that Woodwick offers and that is that they are well balanced, they are complex, and they are unique. All of them smell like they would be a luxury type fragrance. I think that they do fit the niche and the target of, of what they're meant for. I think they fit that very well. These fragrances are very sophisticated and luxurious. Let me summarize real quick uh, my favorites. But again, this is all just personal preference. This is my opinion on the ones that I happen to like better. Doesn't necessarily mean that they are better or better quality or anything like that. Just for me, some of my personal favorites. Uh, my favorites included Harvest, Harvested Sumac and Campfire, Royal Nectar and Applewood Honey, Native Heliotrope and Cashmere Wood, Pumpkin and Persimmon, Bayberry and Fur Wreath, this is also in the top five, but it makes it top six. So one of these, you can just call it an honorable mention, but I really like this Gilded Rose and Spruce as well. So I, I can't leave that one out. My least favorites included the Red Currant and Kumquat, the Birch Bark and Ripe Fig Sapling, mostly because I have so many fragrances very similar to this already. Uh, the Rare Rosewood and Amber Resin, I don't remember yeah, that's just not my type of fragrance. I'm not, just not a huge fan of this one, I guess, overall. And then one that was like my least favorite um, at first, but I've gone back to it several times, was that infused yarrow buds and gayak wood. I, it's just so potent, so punchy, right when you smell it, that I feel like it's just overwhelming, like it's too florally or too floral, too, too florally, too much floral for me. Wow. 
right right out of the bottle. But man, the more I the more I smell it, the more I really want to try it because if you can find that right balance, the right strength, uh, and not overdo it, it could be a really really interesting fragrance. So that is also slowly migrating its way over to my favorites as well which I would not have thought uh, 20 minutes ago when I first opened it up. But that does it for this video. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, first impression type of review. These are all extremely new fragrances to me, so I was excited to try them out, and I'm excited to test them in product as well. If you guys are interested in checking out any of these products, they will be links in the description below. As I mentioned, these were provided by Woodenwick Candle Company, so I want to say thank you to them for sending them to me to check out here on the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the feedback on these oils from me, and, and again, these are just my honest opinions and review of these fragrances. Don't forget to check out the description for additional information, and also don't forget to check out a few of these other videos here popping up in the screen any moment uh, for other videos that may interest you on the channel. I really appreciate you guys all for being here and I will see you next time. Thanks.